Welcome to my unboxing of the Sapphire Radeon HT 7770 Overclocked Gigahertz Edition with their VaporX Vapor Chamber Cooler. It comes with an HDMI high speed extension cable. It has one gig of GDDR3 memory and it has also one gig of Hertz. One gigahertz edition. So that means the GPU core is actually clocked at one gigahertz or more. So that's how they're able to use the AMD branding. Dual fan, cooling quiet, PCI Express 3.0, DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI, AMD App Acceleration, AMD iFinity 2.0, which is basically more flexible software, more options for iFinity. And this uses the latest 28 nanometer manufacturing process. That is the latest we've seen on GPUs. Intel is doing 22 nanometer on CPUs already, which is craziness. GDDR5 memory, iFinity 2.0. Okay, AMD Crossfire X is fully supported, up to two-way Crossfire X. Uh, Microsoft DirectX 11, it better be at this point in time, and it supports AMD HD 3D technology even over HDMI, um, meaning you can either watch your movies or play your games in 3D with this graphics card, as long as you have the uh, a supported display as well as the um, compatible middleware. So unfortunately, AMD graphics cards don't have a sort of cookie cutter solution like 3D Vision, so you have to use the um, one of a couple different available middlewares and then a compatible display. So bundled accessories, HDMI cable, very cool. We also have a Molex to PCIe 6 pin adapter, these are handy. Even if your graphics card comes with one of these and you don't need it, you might as well just hold on to that for future use. We have a DVI to VGA adapter. Okay, because this is more of a mid-range gaming card, I'm not going to give you guys too hard of a time if you have a VGA monitor still. Okay, driver installation CD, Sapphire graphics card quick installation guide, Sapphire product registration. Okay, cool. Oh, and you can even join their gold membership club. It's uh, There's a code on the back of your product registration card. There are benefits. No, it looks giving me a funny look. No, there are benefits. They do like giveaways and stuff. Oh, it's cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and take the plastic wrap off where we will find the Vapor X cooler. So what is the key difference between vapor chamber and heat pipe? You can see there's heat pipes too, which is sort of fascinating. Are they vapor chambers? They look like heat pipes. Give me a second. And we figured it out. So this piece down here at the very bottom is a vapor chamber. So that spreads the heat out to the fins. And these heat pipes right above the vapor chamber actually carry heat out to the far extremities of the cooler where it can be carried away by the fans. So the heat, the, uh, the vapor chamber takes care of sort of this area with the heat pipes pulling heat away to these areas here. That should give this actually very effective coverage in terms of cooling because they're using two different technologies to move the heat away from the GPU core itself which is located here out to the far reaches of the cooler because you can have as big a cooler as you want and if you don't have an efficient way to move the heat to the far reaching fins then basically all the heat's been removed by the time it actually can can get over there and this is just doing nothing at the outsides of the fan so um yeah that's pretty much our look at the cooler actually this is a very large cooler so the fins go all the way from over here to all the way over here, and you can see the thickness is actually, there you go, you're going to look at the thickness under the shroud here. So this is a pretty short card, it uses the old style placement for the PCI Express connector, which is fine because since it's a short card you shouldn't have too much interference in terms of hard drive bays or anything like that. It uses dual 80 millimeter fans for cooling, as well as there's our PCI Express 3.0 16x slot and then up to four displays no problem two dvi a full-size display port and then hdmi so you can do up to actually it looks like you're going to do up to three with this guy one two three or one two three or one two three so you can do up to triple monitor no big deal there's the single crossfire connector so that is up to two-way crossfire on this particular card and I, I think that pretty much wraps it up for the unboxing portion of this particular video we are going to be doing a follow-up though on the NCIX com channel where we take a look at its performance as well as its quietness and coolness which I am expecting both of which to be very very impressive because if I compare to uh, if I compare reference cards against Sapphire's other aftermarket cooler cards using their Dual X cooler, I wish I could find one right now. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. Aha! This one and this one. 
we did some testing comparing these to reference cards and they just absolutely destroy them. And so it's a similar kind of design with the heat pipes and the dual fans and the whatnot and the hoo-ha. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.